Hi folks, welcome to types of technical writing. Now there are four main types of writing. If you're writing to move the emotions, then it would be creative writing and fiction. If we are writing to sell, that would be copywriting. Now, writing to administer organization and manage processes would be a business writing of all types. And the difference between technical and business writing is when we, are, we talk about technical and scientific writing, we are trying to explain and inform uh, facts, processes, systems, gadgets. And uh, two main types of technical writing would be high tech and medical uh, writing. But that's not all. Uh, when we say technical writing, you should always consider fields like finance and mortgages and consumer electronics. Uh, training and e-learning of all types would still be technical writing as well as Consumer retail uh, writing, like brochures uh, and installation guides, configuration guides for the end users, uh, who, for the consumers who buy these gadgets and systems. Military and defense uh, certainly employs a lot of technical writers, uh, you know, weapon systems and electronic systems of all kinds need a lot of explaining to do in the form of uh, user guides, installation guides, configuration guides. And then there's proposal and grant writing, a uh, totally different specialized form of technical writing in and of itself. Now, there are overlapping categories, and these are requests for proposal uh, for a training program, for example, so or installation guide for a radar system or even review of stock picking uh, newsletters, for example, uh, would be uh, technical writing in, in the finance field. Now, medical writing is a very important branch of technical writing and very highly lucrative one as well. And the main types would be regu regulatory writing for pharmaceutical companies and lab and clinical reports. And then there is medical uh, copy editing. There are you know, lots of journals and conference reports. Uh, the medical field generates uh, tons of uh, text. And someone who, who, is, who is a technical writer, but also familiar with the medical terminology and background, perhaps a doctor or a nurse uh, would be doing the copy editing, medical copy editing. Now, in the high-tech field, uh, we have software and hardware documentation, uh, which is my specialty. And within this group, you would have user's guides, system admin guides, installation guides, system and functional specs, release notes, quick start guides, help files, marketing specs, on and on. It's a huge field to specialize in. And uh, you can write manuals and reports on network documentation, like network installation guides, reference troubleshooting guides, network spec sheets, uh, network user and system admin guides, on and on. Now, we also have user assistance documentation, uh, mainly uh, help files of all kinds. They can come in the format of uh, a file attached to the software that you can view when you click the help button or F1 key, or they can be wikis and knowledge base articles as well. They would all be high tech writing. Now, there is also API, application program interface documentation, not for the end user uh, customers, but for developers and engineers. So that's another important specialty within the general umbrella of technical writing. 
Now, uh, the future uh, of technical writing lies in structured authoring. And we are talking about single source writing, like you write once and publish many times through XML. And you write only in topics in a modular fashion. Then you combine them together and create uh, different uh, documents uh, geared toward different uh, audiences and purposes. And uh, we also have data uh, architecture of structured authoring, uh, which is emerging, uh, is a different and important specialty in itself. Uh, technical illustration, let's not forget that. Uh, that's also uh, a good specialty uh, under the general umbrella of technical writing. Due to globalization and localization, services and products are now consumed in multiple countries with different languages, cultures, etc. So, in those times, sometimes it works best to reduce the number of words and increase the number of images because, as you know, as the classic saying goes, an image is worth a thousand words, which is so true in many cases. And you may say, what's the future of te technical writing? Uh, one way to go is project management. You can start uh, managing other technical writers and other documentation projects in large companies. Uh, there, is, uh, there is a good need for that kind of management as well as the number of documents proliferate. Someone needs to keep a tab on them and make sure documents are delivered uh, on time to the right addresses. And if you have any questions, uh, I'm in your service at writer111gmail.com. You can also visit my website, technicalcommunicationcenter.com. So thank you very much. See you in the next video.